Still got to clean up some of the wiring, but there's the HBX solar block and the piping are, is going across the ceiling. Had to put in a special valve there to burp the air out of the piping. And both pipes come down here. Uh, this, this one here is coming from the roof, that's the hot. This is the return up to the roof. I've got flex pipes in here. Uh, you don't necessarily need to put flex pipes, but uh, it's just easy to take them off. And this is the inside of the tank. We've got the solar coil in the bottom of the tank, practically in the middle. I'm using a piece of wood and zap straps to basically space the coil equally. <clears throat> this is the coil right here that uh, feeds the hot water tank. And I'm still going to add probably four or five inches of water on top of this, so this coil is almost underwater. So uh, that's the finished finished design right there. There's going to be a a big lid going on on top of this with insulation, and it'll be all sealed up. So here we've got the hot water heater. This is the cold coming in. Cold comes over here. Uh, the cold comes down this way and goes down and into the coil, runs around the coil, goes back through the wall, comes up here, up to the top, and essentially comes back here and feeds the tank. Okay, that's the cold in the tank. So the, the cold water is now going to be preheated by the solar coil. The hot water is coming out of the tank, goes up here into a mixing valve. We've got uh, the cold coming in here into the mixing valve. We got the hot from the tank coming in and our mixed output going to the house. So we can adjust this here uh, depending on what sort of temperature we want to see. So because the solar tank is going to go up to 190 degrees, uh, this will basically protect you from seriously burning yourself on the hot uh, output of the water in the house because now the existing hot water tank, which is a 270 liter smart water electric, is going to be getting a lot higher temperature if you're using the hot water. So uh, that's the basic part of the system, and it's pretty late right now. Just got this thing together, and it's actually snowing outside, so uh, we can't test the functioning of the solar right now. But that's the hookup to the tank.